about the ninth hour. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. The sky has been darkened since about midday. Jesus is hanging on the cross and he's dying a slow, painful death. He's nearing his end and then he cries out, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When I first read the Gospels and the Bible, I often wondered what this meant, why why this was included in the account of the crucifixion. And I kind of understood the other bits, but I didn't really understand. I knew this had a deeper meaning and, I, and it wasn't obvious to me at first. But um, this is perhaps the most painful part of his passion. More than the beatings and the floggings, more painful than the time he spent hanging on the cross for hours, dying that slow, painful death. Because to pay the price for us in full, Jesus had to endure separation from God. Total spiritual separation. God the Son had to be separated from God the Father, even though they'd been in love and communion from eternity past, forever. To make his sacrifice complete, God laid our sins on to him. Can you imagine how that must have felt to have the sins of the world, which is every all the sins, all the all the horrible things we've done and thought and said, from the very beginning of time right till the very end of time. So people who are not even born yet, their sins were laid on him as well. It's beyond comprehension. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? So as we reflect on Jesus' death during and resurrection during Holy Week, we should think about those people who don't yet know God or Jesus and what future they will face when they step into eternity and realise that the God of the Bible, Jesus, is the one true God and he's their creator. Imagine the anguish that Jesus felt in that moment when he endured total separation from God. They will also feel that anguish, that fear of separation from God for eternity. And for them it won't be temporary. So perhaps you should think about saying a prayer for them, for your loved ones, for your friends, your work colleagues, your neighbours. And ask God to give you an opportunity to talk to them about him. About how much he loves them and the price he paid for them on that cross. Oh my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God, my God, come quickly to my aid. Come quickly to my aid. Oh my God, I cried, I cried out by day. You did not answer Oh my God, I cried I cried out by night But there was no rest for me My God, my God Why have you forsaken me? My God, my God Come quickly to my aid Our fathers trusted in you They were never disappointed Cause you deliver But I'm poured out like water My bones are all disjointed And all who see are mocking me My God, my God Why have you forsaken me? My God, my God, come quickly to my aid Come quickly to my aid A band of evil men has closed in on me And pierced my hands and feet Dogs are surrounding Mockers are shouting 
If God delight in him, let him deliver him Forsaken me, my God, my God, come quickly to my aid. Oh, come quickly to my aid.